Market Pulse is a bookmap add-on that offers both visual and audio outputs. With Market Pulse, you can now hear the market unfold, offering you a different understanding of exactly what's taking place within the order flow. You can subscribe to the add-on via the Bookmap Marketplace. To learn more about this unique add-on, go to bookmap.com slash knowledge base in the add-on section. Basically, Market Pulse is a framework for a variety of diverse algos that can provide both visual and audio outputs. Let's get an overview from one of the algos called Volume Pressure. First, there's the Bookmap API, then Market Pulse. Here's the Volume Pressure algo. It outputs sounds, a widget, and subchart lines. You can see other algos output data in a variety of ways. Scroll down a bit further and you'll see the download link. Click on it after you subscribe to Market Pulse from the Bookmap Marketplace. Then open Bookmap and add it via the Configure Add-ons tool. Scroll down and click on Add and add the download file. Once added, click on the box and click on the Market Pulse text. Let's go over the basics. We'll start afresh and remove all previous studies here. Now click on Create and select the specific algo from the drop-down menu. Hover over the info icon to understand the details for the specific algo here on volume pressure. You can apply it to a particular instrument from the drop-down menu here. Let's click on the play button and the algo will begin loading. Once loaded, note that the widget pops up as well as lines in the subchart. With these tools, you can close the widget, mute it, or expand and collapse the settings. You can use the same tools on the actual widget with mute and close here. Or right click on the widget, select the settings and expand and collapse it. Thus we can close the configure add-ons window. Note the widget is a free-floating independent window. Let's go over some of the settings. First, what is the algo doing? When volume pressure crosses a certain threshold, then a sound is outputted. In the same moment, you can see it here in the subchart. Play around with the settings to get the desired effect. You can adjust the volume here, and down here you can choose from a variety of sounds for both the positive P and negative N outputs. You can also give the study a specific name and play around with the widget size. Let's go over some important settings. The training period is basically the look back period of the study. This allows you to adjust and control the output during slow and volatile market times. The half-life period is the decay rate or fall-off rate during the training period. For example, within the data of this particular training period, the output will fall off 50% every 10 seconds. Play around with these two settings to get the output you desire. How can we do this? Let's use the subchart settings to give us insight. Here you can display buyers and sellers separately or by their absolute value, or by their delta of buy minus sell. Let's use the percentage of buyers and sellers. Now let's play around with the threshold and click apply. Note the white, green, and red lines in the subchart. When the buyer's threshold is met, a green line appears. When a seller's threshold is met, a red line appears. A white line appears when no threshold is met. Let's zoom out a bit and note when a sound or threshold is met. Depending on your trading methods, you may desire more or less outputs. Use this subchart along with the training period and half-life period to gauge when you'd like to receive a sound output. Now let's take a closer look at the actual widget. Sellers are here in red and buyers in green. 
the number in the top right is the max value obtained during the training period. The numbers here are the current value within the training period. The vertical white line represents the threshold value. When the red or green values cross the threshold, a sound will play. Let's close the settings and add a new setting via the Configure Add-ons button. Let's create a new study, which pops up here on top. We'll open the setting here. Perhaps you want to add a new study for the same instrument, or you can select another instrument from the drop-down menu. Go through the same process as we did before to give the desired output. Let's also cover these buttons up here. These are global buttons that work on all listed studies. You can reset the widget location, mute all widgets, close all widgets, and expand or collapse all widgets. You can see that Bookmap's Market Pulse add-on is a rather unique add-on that allows you to actually hear the order flow. This additional sensorial element will offer you much deeper understanding of exactly how the order flow is unfolding within the markets. Give it a try. You'll be amazed at what you can gain from hearing the market.